Hello everyone, welcome to Amani's Lightwork Keys to Akasha section on my channel. For those of you who are new or you're just visiting, welcome. It's great to have you here. Okay, um, before I begin with the reading I'm going to be doing today, I just want to say um, I haven't been on the channel in some time. Um, had some personal matters and things to take care of in my life, so... Um, I had to take some time away from the channel for a little bit to take care of those things. Okay. Um, in terms of this section of my channel, if you're new, I only cover cases here. Um, I do celebrity readings and cases. I actually split them. So I have keys to Akasha and I also have eye of Akasha. Um, and I'm also going to open up another section on my channel for missing people, which is the case that I'm going to be covering. Um, one case I'm going to be covering today. Okay. If you want to contact me directly about the sections of my channel or about general readings, you can send me a direct message to my Instagram at amaniefa777. Or you can send me an email to iavakasha108 at gmail.com. Okay. So today I'm actually going to be covering a case about a missing individual. Her name is Sanaya Dennis. She was born November 1st, 2001. Her zodiac sign is a sign of Scorpio, okay? She was attending Buffalo State University. She's 19 years old. She was last seen leaving her dorm April 24th, okay? Heading towards Niagara Falls on a bus. So um, I personally am curious, so that's why I'm kind of seeing what information I can pull from the cards today. And once again, if you have questions, um, you can comment respectfully below the videos if the comments are allowed, or you can hit me up on Instagram or email if you have questions about this, okay? I didn't look at any, you know, information. I'm just pretty much going in this head first to see what I can get, Okay. Okay, let's see. If you're wondering what deck this is, um, these are Ramses tarot cards. So you're dealing with Egyptian, um, Egyptian symbolism, Egyptian, um, yeah, symbolism, numerology, etc. Okay. All right. So, um, just a little back history. I believe that they said that she was in communication with her boyfriend at the time of her disappearance. Um, uh, he, I believe was in the city at the time. So he wasn't, they claimed that he wasn't anywhere near her, that he was in the city at the time of her disappearance. Okay. Um, but the energy that I feel is that there's this kind of feeling of lurking. So that could be on the campus before she left it, or that's her heading towards Niagara Falls and someone could have been lurking as she was on her travels, okay? So the moon card is here that is underneath. I call this the intuition card. This is the sign of Pisces. Um, she is a water sign, but not Pisces. She's a Scorpio. But this energy, if she did have another Piscean energy, I don't know the energy. I don't know the sign of her father. I don't know the sign of the boyfriend or any of her friends necessarily. But we'll see as the reading goes on. But when anytime you see um, the moon card underneath, that's intuition. 
Um, the spirit is actually actually telling me that she wasn't using it at the time. Um, I'm also getting the energy of a friend when I said that. So she may have not been using her intuition about a friend. The spirit isn't saying boyfriend particularly, like a friend, like a female friend. Um, it could have been a guy friend, a friend that she could have been dealing with in the past. It just depends on the energy that's coming through. Okay, so that could be... She that could have been before or after she disappeared. Okay, her communications with someone or just someone that she already knew she wasn't using her intuition about, or the spirit is actually giving me the idea of a motive with that mysterious person. So they could be a Pisces or whatever other zodiac sign, or that's just her intuition using her into her intuition about someone or entity that was around her at the time. Okay. So the two of wands energy is here in the starting point. Two of wands is fire sign energy. Um, it also represents patience with this card. Um, the spirit is giving me the idea of her classes or um, a specific course that she may have been taking. Course could be taking course in terms of traveling somewhere. Course could be literal, like the courses that she was taking. Um, I'm getting the idea of extensive so either expensive or extensive like like a course was long her travel was long or a course something may have been expensive about school period right like school expenses however the spirit is trying to get me to explain that um or extensive like her excuse me her travel could have been extensive like it could have been she was traveling far to wherever she ended up or it's expensive in terms of school like her courses like her courses that she was taking so that can go two different ways that's course as in school like classes or that's course as in travel like her traveling and something being really extensive or expensive it could have been expensive um, it could have been a thought that she had. I also get the idea of changing schools with that. So she may have wanted to change schools or she may have been looking into, I don't know, she was trying to leave school, depart from school. Um, I mean, she did go missing. So it's like she did depart from her school. But the idea would be to permanently depart from the school. So that could have been a thought she had before she ended up missing. So this is, you know, a student. She may have been dealing with her expenses. It, it doesn't even only have to be the courses. It could be some other type of expense that she wanted um, her father to pay for, her mother to pay for, and they may not have agreed or they agreed and she just didn't want to continue or she wanted to change school. So it just depends on, that's why the two of wands energy is here. There's a lot going on. Um, she could have wanted to travel out of state and do something else is the energy that I get and that could be school related. Um, I also get that it's a work related situation as well with the two of wands energy, okay? And the waiting position has the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords could be a younger air sign element. It's also research. Um, the Spirit is giving me the idea of dorms when I said research. So she could have been... Um, I mean, research could be just scoping out her own dorm. Or research could be looking into dorms and housing. I don't know um, what... Uh, you know, it's upstate New York. So I don't know how the dorms are set up. I don't know if this is like her looking into off campus housing. That could have been why I was getting the expensive and her possibly going through a scenario where her parents, you know, I I want I'm getting the idea of an apartment. You know, I want an apartment. Um, I kind of want to live off campus. She may have been living on campus. She may have been dorming with someone. Um, I'm getting the idea of stealing when I said dorming with someone. So someone like a friend that she may have been dealing with may have been stealing something from her. So it could be money. It could be objects. Um, I'm getting the idea of complaining when I said money and objects. So that could be something that she experienced with a friend like i said from the beginning she wasn't using her intuition about a friend like a friend that she had around her that she was either dorming with she was living with or she just knew they were stealing something from her like right in front of her like money clothes some type of object that she had um personal possessions that someone may have been stealing from her in a dorm like setting 
So what she's then doing with the Page of Swords and the Two of Wands, she may have been trying to discuss with her parents, you know, can I live in my own apartment? Can I rent my own space? You know, can we discuss, you know, is it going to be too expensive for me to do that? Um, I'm getting the idea that they agreed. So if she didn't have her own apartment or she wanted to transition into getting her own apartment, her parents, either they agreed or they didn't agree with the expense because they're like, you know, you're at school. We think you should, you know, any parent would say, you know, we think you should have the regular dorming experience. Right. But she's like, you know, she may have tried to discuss with someone, you know, maybe someone I mean, she got to do it or not. She could have been trying to discuss with someone, you know, somebody's stealing something from me. I want to live in my own situation, which that pretty much makes sense to me with the Page of Swords energy. Um, if the Page of Swords isn't only uh, the energy of her researching and looking for apartments and arguing, you know, discussing with parents or whoever about changing schools, you know, she's looking for different dorms, she's looking for apartment, etc. If it's not only that, then the Page of Swords, it could be the energy of a younger sibling, it could be the energy of a friend, it could be the energy, yeah, it could be the energy of a friend, someone that she may have been dealing with at the time right um i'm looking at the page of swords and i actually get more than one friend so something that she experienced could have been with more than one friend so if it's stealing she could have experienced that uh with more than one friend um i also get the idea of a boyfriend so i don't know if her boyfriend was taking something from her um it could be a person that someone was taking from her it could be um maybe she considered her boyfriend to be getting taken away from her by somebody else you know what I mean? Or if, like it's things like something that was taken from her, like something, something that you could use like an object, right? So that's the energy of more than one friend. That's the energy of a boyfriend. Um, and I also get the idea of taking someone, like taking a person away from someone else. So, I mean, how it would be observed was that she would be taking, she would be the one that is being taken away from someone else because she is missing that's one then she could have considered her a friend or someone that she was close to to be taking away her partner if that's the case she could have observed that to be that way but they may not have discussed that or they may not have investigated into the reason why she may have had a falling out of some kind with her boyfriend or an ex of some kind. Um, because something is going on with a friend, particularly a friend may be, may have been involved. That's why the moon is underneath and the, and the friend being involved is like taking boyfriend away, taking things away, stealing something, etc. And she's telling her parents, you know, I'm thinking about getting my own apartment. She may not have explained to her parents, you know, my roommate is stealing. My friend is looking at my man. My friend is, I also get texting. My friend is texting my man. My friend is trying to contact my man. Or um, I also get the idea of going through things. So she may have had a friend that was going through her things. Like her things, they could have been going through her notebooks. They could have been looking for her boyfriend's number, her friend's number. But there's more than one friend and the boyfriend or some type of guy that is a friend, like male and female, they're like in communication with each other. And they're, um, I also get the idea of taunting. They could have been taunting her for whatever reason. And it could be like course in school and grade related, but she was an honor student. So I don't see her necessarily being taunted in that way. But um, when I said taunted in that way, I get image. Something about her image. I don't know if this has something to do with her image, like her physical image in comparisons that guys were making, friends were making between, you know, her friends and her boyfriend, whatever it is that's going on there. You know, college like things and um, having too many friends and friends interacting with your partners and you may not necessarily want them to interact with your partners. And that may have been something that happened with her. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is in the present. So the Wheel of Fortune would mean that something, I get the, the Spirit is telling me something about a friendship. So the Wheel of Fortune is that a friendship stopped or she may have wanted a friendship. I also get an ex. It's interesting how I get the energy of an ex because this is Roman numeral X that's at the top. 
So she may have been dealing with an ex, like an ex-boyfriend or like an ex-friend. They could have contacted her. They could have tried to reconnect with her. Um, the spirit is also telling me that's why she traveled with the Wheel of Fortune in the present. Okay. So the Two of Wands and the Page of Swords um, also kind of gives me the idea. I kind of see these as social media cards. So an ex, if it's a boyfriend that's an ex, they could have hit her up on social media like Facebook or Instagram. They're like, hey, um, I also get this feeling of, you know, I have an apartment. Something that's really interesting about an apartment. So either like an ex lives in an apartment, an ex lives in an apartment somewhere going towards Niagara Falls, wherever she was last seen. She could have been traveling towards like an ex, like an ex-boyfriend or ex-friend. So they're hitting her, hitting her up on social media and they either live in an apartment or they're trying to tell her that they're trying to tell her, you know, I found this really cool apartment or this studio. If you want to get out your dorm, if you want to be independent, you want to do this, that, and the third, I think that you should travel towards me to come and see it. You know what I mean? I'm getting that kind of energy. Um, I also get scared. So when I ran through all of that, uh, she literally could have been having that kind of communication with someone. And she, you know, she's hesitant. She's actually scared because she may not have told anyone directly that she was going to do that. Like a parent or a roommate or somebody on the campus that she may have been in communication with before she left, you know. But she's telling people, you know, people are asking her for things, possibly. She's asking friends and people for things, but she's really short with them because she wants to go look at a place or she wants to go stay with someone like an ex or she wants to go see them. But she's not just going to go see that person. They're not just trying to come. They're not just trying to link up with her for no reason. They want to show her something like an apartment or like a studio of some kind. So it's theirs or she was talking to them and about her woes or just taking a break and wanting not to be at school or somebody stealing from me. I'm trying to get away from that. Or, or roommates talking to boyfriends, something in really interesting like that. So she's like, you know, I need a break. I need to get away. You know, my ex is calling me. My ex-friend, my ex-boyfriend is calling me. You know, he's got this crib and, you know, he's got this hook of this crib. You know, maybe I should take him up on his offer. You know, um, it's, there's bad intentions with someone contacting her in that way. Okay. The future has the page of wands. And then the instincts, oh, the instincts has the ten of swords, okay? So, one, two, three, okay. Let me go to the instincts has the ten of swords in energy, right? Do not like the ten of swords. Do not like the ten of swords. It's in her headspace, right? It's in her headspace, so this will be her instincts. Um, she may be thinking, or her energy is thinking, she's not going to come back from a situation okay if she traveled somewhere to go see someone um i also get this idea of drugs and alcohol that's why the ten of swords energy is there so someone that she went to go travel to they do drugs and alcohol so they they drink liquor they they may smoke weed they may do shrooms they may do coke whatever kind of drug that person is on i keep getting the idea of an ex so there's an X here for the Wheel of Fortune. So this is like the energy of an X or someone that's like an X friend or X ex lover of some kind that she somehow reconnected with because she, I believe, had another boyfriend. She had a boyfriend that they claimed wasn't in the city at the time, right? Um, I also get something about his friend when I said that too. So something may be going on with the boyfriend's friend particularly. So I don't know. I don't know if her boyfriend knew her ex or something. There's some type of connection between her ex-boyfriend and her new boyfriend or her newest boyfriend that she had. There's a connection there. So that's either through another female friend and they could have been talking. That's through a female friend or that's through her herself. Or something is going on. They, the spirits also tell me that they were talking. She was talking to that person. She was talking to the ex for a while. Or someone was talking to the ex to possibly try to get her to go towards that person. 
right? They don't have to be an ex. They could just be someone that she was going to go see. She was going to go see. But there's a connection between that person and a friend on the campus, like a female or a male. So that's her boyfriend that is in the city that has that connection or knows about that person or it's a female or another guy friend. That I'm getting the idea of three. So this is like one girl and two guys, right? Or it's like two girls and one guy. They know who she was going to go see. And it's an ex she was going to go see. Um, I also get a party. She There could have been a party. She was trying to privately travel to go take part in some type of party you know i'm getting the idea of older so there may have been older she was 19 so there may have been i'm looking at the tennis wars there may have been people there at that party that may have been 10 years older than her they could have been 10 years older than her 10 months older than her they could have been i get the i get the idea of late 20s she could have been dealing with or there some environment that she ended up in there's individuals there that they're that they're 10 years older than her or they're in their late 20s somewhere they're in their late 20s somewhere because the x is 20 then 10 could be 10 years older or like a little less than 10 years older than her and they're doing drugs and alcohol. And it's a party, it's, it's an invitation, right? Okay, wow. But this is through an ex, and there's people on the campus that she knows directly, that they know that she went to that party. So it could be something really secretive where she may not have wanted her, like, her parents to find out that she was going. She may not have felt like she needed to ask permission to go to this person to go towards this person or these people, whether she knew there was gonna be a party or not, or she just going traveling to somebody's place and they're doing recreational drugs there of some kind. They're doing recreational drugs. She could, I don't know, I mean, the recreational drug situation could have been happening before she left, you know, with with somebody that she knew. Or she just travels somewhere and somewhere where she ended up, they're doing recreational drugs, okay? Whew. Five of Cups energy is here. This is her energy in the accomplishment right next to the Two of Wands. So Five of Cups will be grief right next to the Two of Wands energy. Um, I get the idea that someone wasn't going to pay for something. So I don't know if that's her parents. Um, if that brings it back to the energy of her trying to contact her parents for something specific, uh, wasn't going to pay for something could be like, what's another situation? She went there on the bus and she could, I'm just giving a random scenario by based on what I'm picking up. Somebody not wanting to pay for something specific could be an Uber or Lyft, a Via. If she's traveling somewhere on bus, especially if she's going to a party by herself and she's not telling people, you know, I'm going to hang with these older people, these older dudes and females, they're doing recreational drugs. You know, I'm not going to come back on the bus this late from Niagara Falls or wherever she went by herself. Like, she's not going to do that. So someone is going to suggest that she stay there. That would be the common sense thing to do. So five of cups next to the two of wands. That's why I was getting the idea of being scared. She's like, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I get imposed. Like Five of Cups is like, you know, I don't want to impart telling someone I don't want to impose. But they're suggesting she stay. She came all the way there. She can't go come back all the way home by herself. It's too late. You know, it would be too late for her to travel by herself. And then on top of that, someone is telling her that someone is telling her that they're not going to pay for something so that could be apartment related her trying to get her own wanting her own could be why she left take a break from somewhere take a break from the school you know or that's literally she traveled to someone and they're like i'm not paying for you to come back i'm not paying for you to go back to the school to get back to the school however far it takes to get up there you know it's late five of cups energy this is nighttime in this card Next to the two of wands. This is her energy here. She's like, it is too late. 
You know, she's and she probably ended up in a situation where she's like, I don't have any clothes. You know, I don't have any clothes and things to change into. I don't have clothes and things to change into. Tennis wars. That's why the tennis wars is in her instincts because she went somewhere that she really didn't feel comfortable going. She went somewhere she didn't, really didn't feel comfortable going. Five of cups, two of wands, page of swords. She could have been looking for cars and things to come home on her own, but she she could have left her wallet. She could have left like money in her room. Or somebody just took it. Wherever she ended up going, somebody could have just taken money that she had on her. Someone could have just taken money and things that she had on her with her through traveling. I would think she would have money or a debit card or something on her. Um, and something about that is stolen. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. Somewhere that she went. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. The hang... What is this? The um, hangman? I think it's the hangman. The hangman energy, I forget sometimes. The hangman energy is in her spiritual self right next to the page of swords. So hangman would be like, what to do? You know, I can't get back to the campus. You know, it's too late. Um, I get the idea of smoking too as well next to the page of swords. That could have been someone that was, page of swords could have been someone that was also there, like an air sign, like an air sign that's in her age group. They're a page. You know, someone that was a Gemini, Libra, Aquarian, someone that's younger, friend of some kind. They, someone that she met there, saw there, they were smoking or they invited her to smoke, have a smoke, a drink, that hangman right next to them, have some type of smoke and drink. She could have told, she could have been trying to tell someone she didn't smoke as well too. Page of Swords right next to the hangman. In her spiritual self. She could have been trying to tell someone that she didn't. Or she only did it sometimes. Or something like that. It wasn't something that she often did. You know. Or she may have been scared to do. Two of wands. Five of cups. Ten of swords. You know. She was drinking. Someone offered her some drinks. Some of them may have been toxic about the drink. It's the smoking. She could have had dabbled in some of that. But the, I'm getting the idea that she really didn't want to. Someone could have been making her do that, okay? I mean, no one makes you do anything, but um, she's 19 years old. You know, she's in a stage, you know, she is in a stage where it's, it's easy. It's, you know, there's, there's things that are easily done. Okay, so here we have the sign of Taurus. Uh, we have the Hierophant right here in the mentality. So the Hierophant brings in the energy of another person. Well, kind of, you got two people here in a sense. You got a, you have the Hierophant, sign of a Taurus. This could be a Taurus female. And then you have Page of Swords. You have uh, an Aquarian Libra Gemini energy that is their, uh, someone that's in her age group. The Hierophant could be someone that's older, like an older Taurus female. They could have been older than her like 20 something years old they could have been you know somewhere in their 20s but they're here you know they're here up in her headspace with the ten of swords energy right i'm looking at them and they're like a bully like something is like a bully about them they're like a bully of some kind if they were where she traveled to right she this person this individual could have been someone who was asked to drive her back to the campus if that's the case but they're like a bully they're like a bully they could have been someone that she knew at school that was there someone that she was in communication with they're like there's someone is like a bully they're a bully of some kind to her but they feel older like they feel like an older there could be a woman like that like i said a woman like 20 something 30 something that's why i said 10 years older than her Someone could have been in their 30s, right? Um, I'm getting the feeling that she lived there. Like, this person lives where she traveled to. Either, I don't know if this is a dorm situation or um, this is after. Like, wherever she ended up going, someone that she in, in, ended up with, like, through travel, she ended up interacting with, This they're older. But somewhere that she went, she's, the energy is like, she lived there. Like, she lived in that apartment building. 
she lives in that apartment building where she traveled to where she went and this energy also knows what happened to her when she arrived or i also get why she couldn't leave or why she can't leave so this energy knows why she why she couldn't or why she can't leave from somewhere so it kind of it kind of sounds like a hostage situation also like somebody not like there's dudes that they I keep getting the idea of drugs too like there's there's heavy drugs that are in somebody's place like in somebody's apartment that she she went to and this they're they're on heavy drugs and that could be one reason why they can't find her and whoever she ended up with like they they're just on heavy drugs they could have, they may they may have been in a situation where they weren't waking up. They may not have been waking up. You know? I'm looking at the higher font as well too. There's a secret. Like there's there's a secret surrounding this. Like there's a secret like there's a secret intertwined in the travel that she took. Like a secretive, like some part of it is not known. Some part of it is not, um, I get shadow. Some part of it is shadowed. Some part of it is, is really shadily covered. It's really shadily being investigated because some there's a part, there's a huge part of it that is missing that they may not, they may not cover on the news openly. But when I said that too, it's, it's where she went. It's where she went. She went somewhere, like some like a place, like like somebody's apartment, somebody's studio. Somebody's apartment, somebody's studio. Someone could have she could have taken the bus, but somebody could have picked her up along the way. She could have went directly there on the bus. And she's ended up with like druggies, like somebody's like a really heavy drug user that she ended up interacting with. And then there's this energy of a secret surrounding an older woman that the spirit is saying they live somewhere, they live in the apartment building or they live in the apartment or complex, wherever she, a building somewhere that she ended up traveling to, that person lives there, okay? And there is something that's secretive about this, what the reason why she can't or couldn't leave somewhere. The Five of Swords is in a changing position so the five of swords will be is in a changing position which means that it's connecting back to this air sign that they're they were a friend they were a partner they were someone that was also stealing something from her or they did but i also get in like in the vicinity something that's also going on like in the vicinity in the vicinity like in in a space five of swords Something happened in the space, like in the vicinity. In the vicinity. In some type of space that that happened in. So that some type of drug, party-like situation. And, and stuff also got... Something also was getting stolen in this vicinity. She ended up in some type of vicinity. Hmm. But the Five of Swords is in a changing position... I get revealed. The Five of Swords is changing because something may get revealed about Page of Swords. Or they may... I get police and cops. They may reveal something to the police. Or they may reveal something to her parents. They may reveal something to the news. Page of Swords, the, and is the, and it could just be the energy as well too of the investigation and information coming about coming out about the investigation new details about the investigation but every time i say that i i keep getting that idea of where she went it's really important about where she went there's details there the four swords energy is in the resolution so the four swords could be she could be embodying all this air as well too she could be embodying that the four swords would be like depression or this feeling, I also get this idea of feeling trapped in a situation. But it keeps giving me this, the idea of like a vicinity, an apartment, a student. I'm just giving examples of a, of a space that people would be doing recreational drugs in. Like a warehouse, something like that. 
but people are like coked out you know people are like really coked out there people aren't waking up they you know but i get this idea the page of wands in the future i do get this idea that someone or investigators they may you know track down that situation they may track it down you know they may track it down they may they may find where this 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 vicinity is they may find where she you know where how she ended up in the situation that she ended up in with these there's these older people around that they something's they're not good but this is through this kind of communication is coming through like an ex like a, a somebody that she knew before someone that she knew before they like you know come you know i've got this situation somewhere you know i think i mean she i mean it would make sense like i mean some she's not just gonna leave randomly she could have been really bent out of shape about her boyfriend that she had and somebody else is, that is willing you know she may have wanted to release herself that's what a force towards in the resolution she may have wanted to release from she wanted to release a situation like somebody you know her dorm room or taking a, you know get getting rid of stuff in her dorm room leaving the dorm done with the dorm you know done with the dorm and and whatever it was but people were stealing is what the spirit is saying people end up stealing things like somebody stole that somebody ended up stealing stuff like that's in a dorm or that's wherever she ended up somebody's stealing stuff they stole stuff they stole stuff there hmm wow all right let's um let's do an outcome here i am using urban tarot cards okay this is a new deck right i mean it is as, as the way it sounds it's pretty i mean i kind of wish the imagery was a little different uh some of the cards but this is pretty good for the most part okay and they're you know let's see let's look for an outcome of her situation i'll probably do a part two but let's just leave that for now i don't want it to be too long all right so the card that's underneath is the knight of and this deck is called disc but it's pentacles so the knight of disc is here which is a young uh which is a young adult earth sign so that taurus female that's the only earth sign that's there that card that's underneath and this energy they could be shown up here like a knight of disc knight of pentacles uh the gourmet chef so food could have been involved in this which I, that's what I like about this deck is because they give you occupations of the knights and the queen, kings and queens in this deck, okay? They give you occupations for them. So something could have been food related that a Taurus female could have given her. But it didn't have to be that person, but um, something, food or drink, you know, food or drink she could have consumed. You know, food or drink. That's why the Ten of Swords is there. Five of Cups is there. She could have gotten hungry. Um, I keep getting drugs and all that. She could have gotten really hungry from some type of drug that was given to her. Like a drug related thing. Like drugs. You know. Something that she ate. You know what I mean? Something could have been wrong with something that she ate. But let's see. Um... The Ten of Pentacles is in the outcome. So anything that's Pentacles related would be something that is to her family. Something that is going to go to someone that was involved. Money may go to someone that was involved in a situation. Um, when I say that too, I get concealing. So someone that is involved in concealing is they may get money or they may get some type of compensation you know what's interesting is that there's this is a ten of pentacles which says wealth at the bottom and i believe that the award for information about her disappearance is ten thousand dollars 
it is ten thousand dollars that's why we got ten of pentacles energy here so that may go to someone that may end up talking page of swords um, um, this person that lives in this some type of vicinity that the spirit keeps saying something happened in some type of vicinity, some type of apartment complex, somebody's place. She traveled to some somewhere. She traveled to a location. She didn't just travel and go disappear. She traveled somewhere. Anytime someone disappears, they something crazy happens to them. Or they they're going there's a destination nobody just disappears they go some they end up somewhere specific they end up somewhere okay they end up somewhere so nobody just poof like magic they they're going somewhere okay they went somewhere she went somewhere that something interesting is going on with where she went right let me do another outcome on the Ten of Pentacles. And whoever decides to speak up on her disappearance is gonna may end up getting ten thousand dollars. That's why that's there. So that what whatever is gonna come out. That's why I said something is secretive about a location that she traveled to. Someone isn't talking that is in a vicinity or a, 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 a complex or somewhere, somebody's place that she traveled to. That person may come forward at some point. Five of Cups is May as well too. So something may come out this month. Okay, something is, I would think so. That The five also goes with the Hierophant. So the nine, what is this? The nine of cups goes is happiness, and it goes with the ten of uh, ten of wealth, ten of pentacles. Okay, so that is um, the nine of cups is her energy. Cups also represent drinking and alcohol. There's also food in this card. She was eating and drinking, where she went. The spirit said party. You eat and drink at a party. She went to some type of uh, uh, event, um, a get together of some kind at somebody's place. But something's going on or something happened with her returning. Something happened with her returning or returning. And then somebody has information on why she can't leave somewhere why she can't leave or something is wrong with her being able to leave somewhere okay so i will probably do a part two on this and um uh that is her reading sanaya dennis she was born november 1st 2001 she is a scorpio okay this is just the first part of information on her case if you have questions comments or concerns you know where to find me be well take care bye